गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबडी आई एम राजेश्वरी फ्रॉम गवर्नमेंट सी पी सी पॉलिटेक्निक मैसूर आई एम गोइंग टू टीच दूनिट वन दट इज हाइड्रो एलेक्ट्रिक एंड थर्मल पावर प्लांट्स ऑफ ए सेशन सिक्स द कोर्स आउटकम्स ऑफ दिस सेशन इज दे अंडरस्टैंड दि इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ ए जनरेशन एंड लेवर्स इन दैट वी शेल डिस्कस दि थर्मल power plant the content of this is the introduction the factors to be considered for the selection of the site for the thermal power plant basic principle of thermal power plant energy conversion and the test in or the assignment includes the some of the mcq studies the multiple choice question that is the contents includes what that is the introduction factors to be considered for the selection of the thermal power plant the basic principle of a thermal power plant energy conversion and the test includes mcq and assessment now coming to the thermal power plant the definition of the thermal power plant is, it is a generating station which converts heat energy of coal or combustion into electrical energy is known as the steam power plant or thermal power station that is the in a generating station the coal or combustion that is the coal combines with air on combustion process converted into what the heat energy and that heat energy will be converted into electrical energy the thermal power plants contrib contributes the maximum to the generation of the power for any country thermal power plants constitutes 75.43 percentage of the total installed captive and non captive power generation in india in thermal power generating station coal oil natural gas etc are used as primary source of energy coal natural gas diesel oil are the major sources of the primary energy in a primary energy coal fed to the thermal plants form the 55.23% of the total installed capacity they form almost the 83% of the installed thermal power generation the prices of the fuel determines the economics of the thermal power plant to increase the efficiency of the plant steam is generated at highest possible temperature and pressure modern practice is to design and build a generating units having larger megawatt generating capacity since the capital cost per kilowatt decreases as the megawatt capacity is increased increasing the unit capacity from 100 megawatt to 250 megawatt Results in saving of about fifteen percent in their capital cost per kilowatt. Presently, the overall capacity of the turbo generator sets being produced is nearly thousand two hundred megawatt. In India, super thermal power plant of capacity five hundred megawatt. are being commissioned by bhel company also many ultra mega power plants are being sanctioned to achieve the government goal of energy for all this is about the introduction of the thermal power plant now let us consider the some of the factors to be considered for the site selection of the thermal power plant 
First one is the supply of the fuel. The steam power station should be located near the coal mines so that the transportation cost of the fuel is minimum. That is, here the fuel used is coal. That should therefore, the plant should be located near the coal mines so that the transportation cost of the fuel is minimum. Next one is the availability of water. The huge amount of water is required to produce steam and to condense the exhaust steam, condense the exhaust steam from the turbine. Therefore, the plant should be located at a place where there is abundant supply of the water. Because in the thermal or the steam power station, the steam is very important to convert the thermal energy into electrical energy. Therefore, the power plant should be located where there is an abundant supply of the water. The next one is the transportation facilities. The power station requires the transportation of men, material and machinery. Therefore, the plant should be located well connected by the road or the rail. That is, the power station requires the, the for the construction and the operation of the power station, when material and machinery is very important, therefore, they, that should be assessed by the road and the rail. The next one is the hash disposal facility. The hash produced due to the burning of the coal is very hot and corrosive. The ash produced after burning of the coal is very hot and corrosive. Therefore, it affects the atmospheric pollution, creates serious health problems to human. Therefore, there must be sufficient space available for the disposal of the large quantity of the ash. That is the, in the combustion of the fuel, the ash is produced which is very hot and very corrosive. If it is not disposed properly, it will affect what the environment and also the human. Therefore, the ash facility should be must for the thermal power plant. The next one is the availability of the labor. During the plant installation and during the plant operation, the sufficient labor should be available at the cheaper rate. That is, for the plant installation, plant erection and also the operating operation of the plant, the labor should be must. Therefore, the labor should be available at the cheaper rate. The next one is the cost and the type of the land. The cost of the land should be less. Therefore, the in the in the selection site selection, the land should be very important because if the land land should be should be available at the less cost and also the land should be capable of bearing the load of heavy equipments. It should bear the or uh, it, uh, it should load the heavy equipments. The next one is the nearest to the load center to reduce the transmission cost and the transmission losses. The plant should be located at uh, located near the load center. That is in order to in order to reduce the cost of the transmission and the losses of the transmission, the plant should be located near the load center. The next, next one is the distance from the populated area. A huge amount of coal is burnt in thermal power station. A large amount of smoke and fumes are produced which pollute the 
surrounding area. Therefore, the plant should be located at a considerable distance from the populated area. That is, the burning of the coal will pollute the environment. Therefore, the plant should be located at the far distance from the populated area. Now, once again recap the selection of the site for the power thermal power plant. That is, the supply of the fuel. First one is the supply of the fuel. The second one is the availability of the water. Third one is the transportation facilities. The fourth one is the hash disposal facility. Fourth one, fifth one is the availability of the labor, the cost and the type of the land and nearest to the load center and the distance from the populated area. These are the some of the factors to be considered before selecting the site for the thermal power plant. Next is the next we should consider the basic principle of basic principle of a thermal thermal electric power plant. In a thermal power plant, the steam turbine is used as the as a prime mover. The some uh, in a thermal power plant, the steam turbine is used as a prime mover. The coal burns inside the boiler and the steam produced in the boiler is converted into mechanical energy in the steam turbine. The steam turbine drives the alternator which converts the mechanical energy into electrical energy. That is, in a thermal power plant, steam turbine is used as a prime mover. That is, in the prime mover, the steam expands and converted into mechanical energy. The coal is burns in burns inside the boiler. Coal burns inside the boiler will produces the thermal energy or the heat energy. And the steam produced in the boiler is converted into mechanical energy in the steam turbine. That is, the steam produced is expanded in the steam turbine to produce mechanical energy. The steam turbine is inter interconnected with the alternator or coupled with alternator which converts the mechanical energy into the electrical energy. This is the basic principle of the thermal electrical power plant. That is, the thermal energy will be converted into the electrical energy by using what? By using the boiler, steam turbine and the alternator. Now, coming to the energy conversion principle. Coming to the energy conversion principle of a thermal power plant which, con which consists of the heat energy and mechanical energy and electrical energy and the consumer. That is, the heat energy will be produced due to the combustion of the coal. That is, the heat energy will be produced by the combustion of the coal. And in the steam turbine, the steam, the steam turbine, the mechanical energy will be produced. And in the alternator, the electrical energy will be produced and that will be fed to the consumer. That is, the, in the coal combustion, in the coal combustion means the coal combines with the air, um, produces the heat energy and that will be fed to the boiler and in the boiler the steam is produced and this steam is 
is fed to the steam turbine. This steam is fed to the steam turbine where steam expands to produce the mechanical energy. And this steam turbine is coupled to the alternator in which the mechanical energy will be converted into electrical energy. That is when the turbine rotates, the alternator also rotates to produce the electrical energy. And that energy will be will be passed on to the okay, consumer. Now, now let us consider the some of the related images about the working of the thermal power plant. The first figure shows the, the thermal power plant and second one shows the coal arrival. The first one shows the, the image about the thermal power plant and the second one shows the arrival of the coal. The next one is Next figure shows, the figure 3 shows the coal mines where coal is stored and the figure 4 shows the transferring of the coal. That is the transferring of the coal from the coal mines. Next one is, the figure 4 shows, or figure 4 shows the storing of the coal, storing of the coal and the figure 5 shows the pulverizing. That is the stored, stored coal is cut into small pieces. That process is known as the pulverizing. This increases the pulverizing, increases the combustion process or increases the speed of the combustion process without needing the large amount of the air. The next one is the figure shows the coal bunker in which the coal is stored and also the coal drum. Here also the coal is stored. The figure 8 shows the, in the picture shows the coal converted into powder. That is the pulverizing process, the coal is converted into, converted into powder. Figure 9 shows the combustion of the coal, combustion of the coal and also the production of the steam. Figure 9 shows the combustion of the coal and also the production of the steam. That is, steam is produced when the water is passed through the boiler where the combustion of the coal takes place and the steam is produced. And the figure 10 shows the combustion of the coal due to the combustion of the coal the production of the thermal energy uh, due to the production of the uh, combustion of the coal the thermal energy is produced now this thermal energy combines with the water to produce steam in the figure 11 that is the the production of the steam shows in the figure 11. The next one is, the next figure shows the turbine and the generator. That is, in the turbine, the steam is fed to the turbine and then in the turbine, the steam expands and rotates the blades of the turbine. That is, the expansion of the steam takes place and due to which the turbine blades rotates. And in the generator, the generator is 
coupled to the turbine and therefore when the rotor blades rotates when the rotor blades rotates the generator also rotates and which produces the electrical energy and in the turbine our next figure is also shows the water condenser condenser in the in the condenser the exhaust stream exhaust stream will be condensed and exhaust steam will be condensed and converted back into cooled and converted into a water and it will be passed on to the boiler for the further use this is about the some of the related images of the thermal power plant and what are the thermal images of the thermal power plant that is the that is a thermal power plant for arrival coal mines transferring of the coal storing of the coal pulverizing coal bunker coal drum coal converting into powder combustion and steam combustion of the coal thermal to steam turbine and generator and also the condenser that is in the condenser that is the exhaust stream will be converted into water and again fed to the boiler is in the images related to the thermal plant first the first energy operates when 20 power plants in united states produces early 70000 million megawatt of hours of electricity each year for over the 400000 million residential commercial and industrial consumer as over half of the first energy is produced by using the coal compares to about 60% nationwide this plant has generating that produce regenerating that produce more than 2000 million megawatts of electricity and four capacity power plant can produce enough electricity to supply the needs of 1.5 million home business the generating electricity requires a fuel source at this plant is coal coal each storage arrives the 15 or each storage contains 15 hundreds of coals to keep the plant running for the couple of years the plant uses about nearly 1000 tons of coals a each day so over millions tons of coal 900 tons of coal transfer into the plant each hour once inside the plant 30 hours of supply of the coal is stored in the bunker coal moves from the bunker to the feeder to pulverizing each generating unit has 16 coal feeds that supply and pulverizer coal enters the pulverizer and spins in a large drum and grind it to fine powder now the grind fine powder coal needs a pulverizer and heads to the boiler about 335 tons of coal can be pulverized per hour large fans 
and warm air fed to the powder pool and poured into the boiler. The boiler has a mild soft tubes and high quality of water. Once inside the boiler pool ignites, releasing energy, generating in tons of heat and changes the water inside tubes to hot steam. The temperature of the steam is about about 1000 degree centigrade. This process generates thermal energy which is transferred to mechanical energy at the turbine which is at the turbine and is high pressure steam. Now 1000 degree Fahrenheit is piped from the boiler to the first in a series of turbines. Expand between the turbine blades mounted on the turbine shaft. In this process, steam turns the, turns the series of turbine 3600 revolution in it per hour to the generator. The generator continuously creates an electrical change, electrical charge and the electricity will be produced which goes to the consumer. After the steam is being created in electricity, it is exhausted from the turbine and sent to the condenser and changed back to the water and reused in a boiler. Now let us consider the some of the multiple choice question. That is first one, the what is the thermal efficiency of the steam power station? The option is 38%, 28%, 40% and 45%. That is the thermal efficiency of the steam power station is the 28%. <coughs> Second one is the, the space required by the steam power station. What is the space required by the steam power station equal to diesel power station more than diesel power station less than diesel power station and none of the above. The answer is the Space required by the steam power station is more than the diesel power station. The major share of the power generated in India. In India, the major share of power generated is through the thermal power plant, nuclear power plant, hydroelectric power plant or solar energy. The answer is the major share of the power generated in India is through a thermal power plant. The next one is the cost of the fuel transportation is maximum. That is the transportation is maximum. The transportation cost of the fuel is maximum in hydroelectric power plant or steam power plant or nuclear power plant or solar power plant. That is the fuel transportation is maximum mean steam power plant. Now for which of the power station is least efficient? That is the which power station has the less efficiency? The first one is the nuclear power plant or diesel power plant or thermal power plant or none of the above. The power station which is least efficient is thermal power station. The sixth question is the dash requires more space. 
that is the which power plant requires more space the first one is the nuclear power plant or hydroelectric power plant or thermal power plant or diesel power plant that is the thermal power plant requires the more space it is the space required by the the thermal power plant is more the coal used in a next question is in a power, in a thermal power plant the coal is used is known as what is the name of the coal there is the steam coal charcoal coke soft coal that is a answer is the coal used in a power plant is known as steam coal eighth one is what would be the most important factor under consideration for the site selection of the thermal power plant that is the which point is more important for the site selection of the thermal power plant the availability of the fuel or the availability of the water or distance from the populated area or the cost on the type of the land that is the most important factor considerable consideration for the site selection of the thermal power plant is the availability of the water that is water is used to convert a thermal energy into steam that steam expands in a turbine and that produces the mechanical energy and this mechanical energy will be converted into electrical energy which is fed to the consumer the ninth question is in india largest thermal power station is located at that is the where the largest thermal power station is located in india first one is kota or sarni or chandrapur or naiveli that is in india the largest thermal power station is located at the chandrapur the tenth question is the modern steam turbines or the modern steam turbines are impulse turbines the or reaction turbines or impulse reaction turbines are none of the above the modern steam turbines are the impulse reaction turbines now the assessment question the assignment questions are the what are the list of factors to be considered for the selection of the site for the thermal power plant that is list the some of the factors considered for the selection of the thermal power plant and the explain the energy conversion principle in the thermal power plant and the suggested activity is suggested activity is collect and present the data regarding the thermal power plant in karnataka and india thank you